Hi, how's it going? My name's Jeff. Um, I'm here for uh, the Counseling Geek uh, blog. I'm going to introduce you kind of to what I plan on doing over the next, I don't know how long, um, and taking you through how to utilize some of these uh, awesome tools that have been coming out over the late, uh, last few years um, with your counseling program. Um, you know, I'm going to try to connect it as much as I can to the Ask a National Model um, and any other types of uh, frameworks that I'm familiar with. And so this is kind of just an introductory type of uh, blog posting. I'm kind of testing the uh, the waters per se. Um, so I'm going to kind of touch on what we're going to be talking about over the next uh, couple weeks, I guess, if I can get stuff up every week or so. Um, but just give you kind of a brief overview about the, this uh, this episode of what we got going on. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a small... Uh, document open. I'm going to show you also later on how to do what I'm doing right now, kind of a webcast, um, kind of a podcast with video or PowerPoint. This is actually an HTML document, which I wrote up. Um, and I'll, I'll go over how to do that and I'll kind of take you through some step by steps if I can. Um, but basically just kind of an overview. How, how am I going to start implementing technology in my counseling program? Okay. Um, it's a challenging thing, uh, especially considering, um, how nervous some people are with with utilizing some of this this new technology, especially if you're not familiar with it, um, and some people are actually re resistant. So it's 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 understandable how you can um, resist wanting to, to learn this stuff because it really is a new skill that you're going to be taking on on top of your busy um, caseload. Um, so what we can do is uh, technology is exponentially growing. Um, Moore's Law, I'm going to switch over here to this page, Moore's Law, which you can look up and read more about, like on Wikipedia. Um, basically, Moore's Law says that um, the number of transistors on a chip, so the CPU of your computer, kind of the brain, um, the ability to fit transistors doubles every 18 to 24 months. So back in the 90s or mid 80s, you know, a, a computer took, took up the, the size of a, a a small house and um, was very slow. I saw an ad in a, a school the other day where a computer cost $8,000 for something that um, most smartphones um, are able to do better now. Um, so it makes buying technology get uh, start getting really inexpensive. Um, so that, that'll help push you to desire to, to uh, streamline your counseling program through utilizing things like um, great PowerPoint presentations, webcasting, audio uh, podcasting, that type of thing. Um, so what I hope to do over the next couple weeks and uh, with this blog is debunk some of your fears about technology. So technophobia needs to go away right now. Um, introduce you to some um, new and useful technologies um, such as Wix, um, which is actually what I'm hosting this blog on as well as my professional portfolio. If you go switch over there um, and uh, also, connect how to connect to your counseling program, like I said, using the Ask a Model and other techniques and tips. Um, a lot of people ask, but do I have to? Um, is it needed? And I would I would argue yes. Um, it is the future. It's what's going to be coming up. It's what's um, students are working towards. They're working towards becoming more technologically savvy, more independent. Um, and it is the future of education, really. Um, you're, you're hearing a lot of things about 21st century skills. Um, a lot of online counseling jobs now are, are taking place where you're um, remotely counseling students over things like this, a webcam um, and an audio link or Skype. Um, and also online education is, is really increasing. It's, it's building up to a point where it's going to uh, have a huge impact on how we um, counsel our students. And then um, people also also ask, is it dehumanizing our jobs? And while I, I can say that it, it, it can, if you don't approach it correctly, um, we, we take steps to make sure that it's not. Because that's, that's the function of our job, is to be the human interaction with the student that's caring and, and loving towards the student and able to help them um, through anything they're going through, college applications, uh, boyfriend breaking up with them, etc. Um, so what if you're scared? Uh, it's, it's a big thing. How do I get started? Um, being scared is natural. I will tell you that it's a, 
hugely scary thing to go about um, getting ready for you know SATs this is just like that you're gonna have to study you're probably gonna have to practice you might have to buy some software upgrade your computer or hardware um, so it's gonna take a little bit of commitment on your part but the payoffs are gonna be substantial um, so it's gonna take like I said here uh, challenges it's gonna take patience um, time and some effort on your part so it might be some after hours or some um, office hours work consider it pro uh, pro D professional development um, you know, I don't know if your district will let you count that or uh, or whatnot, but you know, it's it's something that you're going to grow from. Uh, the next couple, next edition, I'm looking at um, possibly uh, getting started. Where am I going to go get my software, and what do I need? What's some great startup software that I can start learning right now um, that's either free or very low cost, and it doesn't need any special hardware. So we're going to look at that um, for all you newbies. Um, if you don't know what noob is, um, you can Google that as well. Um, for some of you more advanced technological counselors, um, I will have postings on here that are more aimed towards you. Uh, and if you have anything that you would like to share with me, please let me know. Um, I'm open for comments and emails. My email is uh, thecounselinggeek at gmail.com. Um, I also have another blog, um, which I'm kind of switching over from. It looks kind of like this on a Squidoo. So you can feel free to read up, get kind of a head start. I'm going to be kind of pulling some stuff from these, this actual document. Um, and then also you can follow me. I just got started on Twitter. That's one of the things that I'm, I was very resistant of using. Um, so you guys might be able to teach me something on that. So um, you can follow me on Twitter. I think that's how you would say it. Uh, you can see it here, at, at Counseling Geek. So feel free to add me, follow me. I'll probably re-follow re you. You have to share with me the, uh, the terms for that. Um, Here's the blog. Feel free to browse around here. I'll be adding stuff as soon as I can. Um, and then, uh, yeah, take take your time. Ask me questions, um, and I'll be sure to try to respond as best I can. Thank you for, for watching, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon.